Motivation and the Expectancy Value Theory Welcome to MOVE Behavior Management. MOVE is an acronym for Motivation equals Value times Expectancy, based on the Expectancy Value Theory. There are many theories of motivation in education, but the Expectancy Value Theory is the easiest to put into practice and it subsumes all the others. The MOVE model is even more simplified but very effective. To better understand the MOVE theory, let's look at some examples of the theory at work. Assuming you don't speak Mandarin, what if I offered to give you $100,000 to learn to speak Mandarin? You would likely value $100,000, and, given enough time, support, and effort, you might expect that you could learn Mandarin. Given those circumstances, you might be motivated to learn Mandarin. When we look at the MOVE formula, we can see that you have some value and some expectancy and, therefore, some motivation. We can assign values in the formula to help better understand how it works. Let's say your value of getting $100,000 is 10 and your expectancy to learn Mandarin is 10. When we multiply those, your motivation is 100. This could be enough to motivate you to learn Mandarin. Let's change the circumstances. What if I offered to give you $100,000 to learn to speak Mandarin, but you had to learn it in the next 24 hours? You likely still value $100,000. But, you would not expect to learn it in 24 hours. Let's look at the formula to see your motivation. Let's say your value of getting $100,000 is still 10, but now your expectancy to learn Mandarin is 0. When we multiply those, your motivation is 0. When we don't expect we are able to complete a task, we will not attempt it, no matter how much we value the outcome. Let's look at an example from the classroom. Meet Mr. Patel. My students don't seem motivated to complete the bell ringer at the beginning of the class period. Can you help? Do you expect your students are able to complete the bell ringer without your help? Yes, I make sure my bell ringers are a review from the content they have already mastered. Tell me what happens after a student completes the bell ringer. The students write their answers to the bell ringer in their journals, then we go over the correct answer as a group. Do you check to see if students completed the bell ringer before you go over the answer? No, we just review as a whole group. Do you grade their journals to make sure they are completing the assignment? No, all of my daily grades are from independent work they complete in class. Let's look at the MOVE theory to see how you can build in structure to motivate your students. When we look at the formula, we can see that your students have high expectancy. They are completing a task previously mastered. What seems to be missing is a value for the bell ringer. They are not given a grade or a stamp and their journals are not graded. So, even though their expectancy is high, their value is zero. As a result, their motivation is zero. Consider adding some structured value into your bell ringer. You could stamp completed answers in their journals and grade their journals at the end of the week for a bell ringer grade. When we don't value a task, we will not attempt it, no matter how much we expect to complete it.